Why, well, as we've reported Tuesday night, when ballots were being counted, there were issues with ballots being ripped, torn, or cut, and there was an issue with the ballot counting machine. That delayed the results. This, of course, comes on top of concerns voters raised in the weeks leading up to the election because of a change in the election process and issues with ballots that were mailed out. All three incumbents will officially retain their seats. Amy Thompson received 7,996 votes. Kim Skornogoski received 7,773 votes. Bill Bronson received 7,833 votes. The other two candidates are Rodney Myers, who received 3,620 votes, and Tony Rosales, who received 3,346 votes. Results, of course, are unofficial until canvassing. Tomorrow, the Great Falls Library Board of Trustees will hold an emergency meeting to discuss the library's legal strategy for the upcoming library mill levy election. A news release from the library says, quote, given the recent issues in the conduct of the elections for the Great Falls Public School, Fort Shaw Irrigation District, and the West Side Flood Control and Drainage District, the Great Falls Public Library Board of Trustees have scheduled an emergency board meeting for Friday, May 5th at noon. The release also says possible board action will be discussed. We have an opportunity to help shape the future of transportation in Great Falls. The city is asking people to take an online survey about transportation in the city. It asks questions like how many times have you used certain forms of transportation in the city in the past year? And what transportation barriers prevent you from getting where you need to go on time? The results will be used to update the city's long-range transportation plan, which is updated every five years. The transportation plan is an effort to look into the future. 20 years into the future, typically, we want to know what our streets are going to look like, what our community is going to look like, what our needs are going to be, and so we'd love to hear from folks. You can find a link to the survey in this story on our website.